Sorry Andrew. Queen Elizabeth choke Andrew's royal return and ends his delusional master plan. Royal fans, before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Prince Andrew has royal aides tearing hair up with hopes of a public return to royal life, a royal correspondent claimed. Prince Andrew had a civil sexual assault case filed against him over claims made by Jeffrey Epstein accuser Virginia Dufry. Ms. Dufry claimed that the Duke of York had sexually assaulted her on three occasions when she was 17, allegations that Andrew has strenuously denied. Speaking on the latest Royal Roundup, the Daily Express Royal Correspondent Richard Palmer discussed how palace aides have branded Andrew as delusional about the public's reaction and for thinking he can return back to normal royal life. Speaking of Prince Andrew, host Pandora Forsyth asked Mr. Palmer, do you think that he's a little bit delusional if he thinks he's going to come back to the same popularity as he once had? Mr. Palmer replied, I've spoken to people in the royal circles, better not say more than that, who, are, really tearing their hair out with him. This is, because, you know, they say he is delusional about the public's reaction to him. Nobody underestimates the public's shock and revulsion, his involvement in the Epstein scandal, more than Prince Andrew. He added, he people really understood how people feel no matter that's not been found guilty of any criminal offense, has not been charged with any criminal offense, he wouldn't constantly be thinking about making any, sort of, comeback. Mr. Palmer continued, it's really difficult because he's what, he's 62. He may well have another 40 years to live. He's got to do something with his life and the question is, what could he do? I think, you know, many people would suggest that the only thing he really can do is, work for a charity, but behind the scenes, in private. Ms. Forsyth said, yeah, he wouldn't be able to be public facing. The royal expert replied, no, no. In 2019, Jeffrey Epstein was charged with one count of sex trafficking of a minor and one count of conspiracy to commit sex trafficking. He pleaded not guilty and was later found dead in his prison cell, the death later ruled a suicide. Prince Andrew, a friend of the late Epstein, sat down for an interview with Emily Maitlis in 2019. In this interview, the Duke said he did not regret his friendship with Epstein. Prince Andrew has defended his relationship with Epstein before, including as recently as August, two weeks after the disgraced financier took his own life while awaiting trial on trafficking charges. But in the BBC interview broadcast on Saturday night, the prince gave more detail about why he still did not regret the friendship. He said knowing Epstein had some seriously beneficial outcomes, at a time when he had left a career in the Navy and begun one as a trade and industry special representative. Prince Andrew said, the people that I met and the opportunities that I was given to learn, either by him or because of him, were actually very useful. The interview received enormous amounts of public criticism and following this, the Duke voluntarily stepped back from his royal duties. In February 2022, it was confirmed that Prince Andrew had agreed to pay a settlement fee to bring the civil sexual assault case brought by his accuser, Virginia Dufry, to a close. Thanks for watching, please, share your thoughts in the comment, thanks.